The James Webb Space Telescope just delivered data that has scientists scrambling to rewrite our cosmic playbook. It didn't just map ancient galaxies. It mapped what may be the first detailed signs of the true edge of the observable universe. And what it revealed wasn't emptiness. It was structure, clusters, movement, and something even more disturbing. The universe may not be symmetrical. Okay, let me just say this straight. We thought the edge of the universe was just a limit in time, a blurry horizon. But now, there are whispers in the data suggesting something is pulling at us from beyond. Yes, NASA has effectively mapped the edge, and the map is not what cosmologists predicted for decades. The most disturbing findings. The images flooding in from JWST are shattering our understanding of cosmic evolution. Galaxies near the observable edge are forming faster and brighter than any models allow. These aren't just faint smudges of light. They're fully formed cosmic metropolises with metallicity and mass levels suggesting multiple generations of stars within just 300 million years of the Big Bang. Even more shocking, monster black holes are present almost immediately after the Big Bang began. One black hole, discovered in galaxy UHZ1, already weighs between 10 and 100 million solar masses when the universe was barely 470 million years old. The Cosmos Web Survey, mapping nearly 800,000 galaxies in unprecedented detail, revealed something that left astronomers speechless. There are 10 times more galaxies in the early universe than Hubble ever predicted. As Caitlin Casey, who co-led the Cosmos Web Project, put it, the universe was producing too much light too early. It had only about 400 million years to form something like a billion solar masses of stars. We just do not know how to make that happen. Some cosmologists now theorize that primordial gas clouds may have skipped star formation entirely, collapsing straight into black holes. This direct collapse theory would explain how such massive objects form so quickly but it requires us to completely rethink the universe's first chapters. Let that sink in. Galaxies formed faster than time should have allowed. It's like building a skyscraper overnight, during a power outage. The edge isn't empty. JWST's groundbreaking mapping reveals something even more unsettling, density asymmetries at large redshift scales. The universe isn't just busier than we thought. It's uneven in ways that defy our most basic assumptions. When these new findings are combined with earlier dark flow data, a pattern emerges. Analyses now suggest possible gravitational influences from beyond our observable edge, something massive pulling on the fabric of space-time itself. In one particular direction of the sky, galaxy clusters seem to be streaming toward an unseen attractor. NASA researchers tracked this motion out to at least 2.5 billion light years, and the pattern persists. This shouldn't happen if matter is distributed evenly across the cosmos. What do you think is out there? Gravity from a hidden structure? Or something even stranger? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what scientists are thinking. But that's just the start. Because what JWST saw next in the cosmic microwave background could point to another universe. If you're fascinated by discoveries like these, hit subscribe now. We dive deep into the mysteries space agencies are only starting to decode. Cosmic symmetry. Breakdown. The Planck satellite detected puzzling anomalies years ago. A mysterious cold spot and what scientists informally called the axis of evil. Temperature patterns that shouldn't exist in a perfectly uniform universe. Now, in a development that has cosmologists re-examining these findings, some of JWST's large-scale galaxy clustering patterns align with these very same anomalies. This correlation across different observing methods suggests we're not just seeing random noise. Multiple studies now indicate the universe may be slightly lopsided on cosmic scales. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a structure spanning an estimated 10 billion light years, challenges our understanding of how matter should be distributed. Imagine inflating a balloon, but one side stretches more than the other. That's what some scientists now believe may have happened during cosmic inflation. But if that were true, the implications for the shape of the universe are even bigger than you think. The impossible structures. Enter the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. This isn't just a large structure. It's a cosmic behemoth that defies explanation. 
New measurements completed in April the 2025 have extended its size beyond 10 billion light years. Let that sink in. A single structure spanning roughly 10% of the entire observable universe. Standard cosmology says this shouldn't exist. Gravity simply hasn't had enough time since the Big Bang to assemble something this massive. The basic models predict maximum structure sizes of about 1.2 billion light years. Yet here's something eight times larger. As researcher John Hakala noted, our sample isn't large enough to place an upper limit on its size. It is larger than anything we might compare it to. We don't even know how big this cosmic monster truly is. Some researchers now argue this structure could only exist if inflation allowed power on larger scales than we predicted, essentially rewriting the rules of how the universe's initial fluctuations formed. Others suggest it might be a rare fluke, a statistical outlier that happens to be in our field of view. A few theoretical physicists propose an even more radical idea. Could it be a remnant from a previous cycle of the universe? But one observation may change everything because one upcoming telescope mission might confirm the true shape of the cosmos. Time itself may not be consistent. When astronomers analyze the light from the most distant objects, they're literally looking back in time. And what they're finding is disturbing. Time dilation in some distant supernovae isn't aligning with predictions. Using light curves from deep field objects, researchers noticed subtle but persistent deviations from what Einstein's relativity predicts. Events at the edge of the universe aren't unfolding at the rates our models expect. This led to speculation. Did time flow differently in the early universe? This could mean expansion affects time non-linearly, a twist few models currently account for. If confirmed, it would force us to reconsider not just the structure of space, but the nature of time itself. The Hubble tension, the mismatch between early and late universe expansion rates, might be a symptom of this deeper inconsistency. The Planck satellite measured the current expansion rate to be about 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec, but direct measurements give a higher value around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This 9% difference might be telling us something profound. So the clocks at the edge of the universe, they might not be ticking like ours. And that means the further we look, the less we understand time itself. As scientists grapple with these findings, several theories are emerging to explain what we're seeing. Some researchers have identified fractal symmetry patterns in the CMB that may be topological relics like cosmic strings, essentially scars in the fabric of space-time from the universe's violent birth. These would be physical remnants from when space-time shattered into the structure we now see, like cracks in cooling glass. The mysterious cold spot in the CMB long a puzzle for cosmologists, is gaining new attention. While it could be explained by a large supervoid, some theorists suggest it might be a bubble scar from a colliding universe, a point where our universe may have brushed against another in a larger multiverse. And there's more. Ancient gravitational waves from the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang may leave echoes we haven't detected yet. Future observatories like LISA could potentially pick up these primordial ripples, giving us a glimpse beyond even the CMB. These discoveries don't just change our models, they redefine what we are inside. We thought the universe was mostly empty, turns out it may be overbuilt, overcrowded, and possibly one of many. The infant universe wasn't a gentle, slow emergence. It was a fireworks show that started almost immediately once the lights turned on. We used to think we lived in a universe that was average, unremarkable, but every new map tells us the opposite. We're in something strange, something active, and we may never find the true edge. Now that we've seen how weird the cosmos gets, let's step back and remember how we used to think about the universe. For decades, we've understood the observable universe to be roughly 94 billion light years across. Not because it's 13.8 billion years old in each direction, but because space itself has been expanding. Objects we see at the edge today are much farther than 13.8 billion light years away. The cosmic microwave background, that faint afterglow we can detect in all directions, formed about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe cooled enough for atoms to form and light to travel freely. We've known about expansion rate disagreements, the Hubble tension, for years now. 
Measurements from the early universe suggest one rate, 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec, while measurements of nearby galaxies give us another, 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Our standard model tells us the universe is comprised of approximately 5% ordinary matter, everything we can see, 27% dark matter, invisible stuff, that affects gravity, and 68% dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating cosmic expansion. If you've followed space science for years, you'll know the basics, but even those are being challenged now. The Cosmic Cliffhanger JWST and the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope are just getting started. Roman will map billions of galaxies over thousands of square degrees, building 3D maps via both imaging and spectroscopy. What might we find as these missions continue? We could discover hints of early gravitational wave backgrounds, ripples in space-time from the universe's first moments, that could reveal conditions we can't otherwise observe. We might find evidence of quantum limits to space-time, points where the universe's information capacity reaches fundamental boundaries set by quantum mechanics. And perhaps most profound, we may find signs that what we call the universe is just one region in something larger, a bubble in a vast cosmic foam, or a branch in a quantum multiverse. Each time we extend our reach, farther, fainter, and new wavelengths, we find the universe is more dynamic and unexpected, than our prior extrapolations. The universe will continue to surprise us as we chart our place in this vast and fascinating expanse. Subscribe if you're ready for more, because what NASA is seeing at the edge is only the beginning.